Hey everyone, this is Jennifer and today I'm going to do some content planning. I have decided that I'm going to continue to use the Day Designer Daily Flagship starting in July. So um, I'm not ready to plan daily pages yet, but for this planner, I do use the month view for content. And I was actually just sitting down this morning and updating my June spread and I have finally figured out sort of how this spread can work for me. It's been a mess. You can tell I have stickers. I've moved the post-its. I've tried different size post-its. I needed a quick and easy way for me to see when I have videos filmed, edited, uploaded, and then I do blog work for Planner Kate. So there's a ton of moving pieces. And I, like I always say, I have the brain of a flea. So if I don't have a system, if I don't write it down, I will forget. So I thought we could do a little July planning content wise just to get some color down with some stickers, but also I'm going to show you how my process works. I did pull this Erin Condren kit. I don't know if it will work. It might because um, even though this is a Monday start, these kits now don't have, um, they don't have the day of the week on them, you get to choose. So let's see if I can get this to work. I might need to trim it down just a little bit, but I want it to be centered. The July, word July, I want that to be centered. So I'm gonna try to center the sticker on the page. And this was like a totally unplanned filming day for me. I just thought I should I should definitely film this since I'm sitting down to do it. So to get these clean edges, I am going to use a ruler and the slice tool. The slice tool is linked in my Amazon favorites shop. If you're interested in picking one up, it has a porcelain blade and makes cutting through stickers pretty easy. And now that I am sitting here and looking at this, I'm like, why haven't I used monthly kits in my day designer all year? Because this, I think, is going to work out perfectly. Oh yes, look how perfect. Okay, I'm glad I decided to try this. And then on this one, it won't matter with the spacing because there's no word to center. So I'm just gonna line it up on this coil edge. And then trim down just the one side. All right, let's get into the moving pieces of content creation. The first thing that I'm gonna start with is the Planner Kate blog. And I finally have a good system down for that. And I'm just deciding which stickers I want to use. Oh, guys, can't let me forget the day of the week sticker. So this is a Monday start. Planner. So I'm going to label this Monday. And so on. Okay, back to the Planner Kate blog. So typically, um, there are blog posts on Tuesday and Friday. And I'm going to use these skinniest labels to map those out. But there's also some tracking involved so i'll explain that too let me get these down this is where i'm going to put down the title of the blog post 
Now I am not going to be planning that far out because a lot of it depends on new release schedules and the affiliates that are creating content and all of that. But this will be a good placeholder for those topics once I know about them. Now, to track the moving parts, this is like the important part. I am going to use this sheet here and use these checklists. So, I need sets of five and obviously these are longer. So I'm just gonna trim them and I might need to use the separate pieces. So above this, I'm going to put down a set of five checklists and every time one step is done, I will mark that off. Like um, when I add the content to our calendar so everyone knows what's going on, I will put a check mark. When I have the draft typed up, I will put a check mark. So I have those to track the steps of each blog post. And I won't make you watch this. I'm gonna cut some of the footage out, but I'm going to continue to put these down for all of those posts. All right, so now I have all the placeholders for the Planner Kate blog. Now I'm going to put in placeholders for Warehouse Wednesday and I will use these labels, but um, do a little bit. Actually, how many Wednesdays? One, two, three, four, five. So I'll use these oval stickers. I was gonna use these, but I don't have enough of them and I want them to be the same. So it should be September kit release on July 3rd. I'll have to double check that, but I'm fairly certain. And then I'm going to do the same thing and put placeholders down. So this helps me too, because sometimes if there's a warehouse Wednesday and it includes like, let's just say one is black and white icons and I want to film a video for that. Um, and my YouTube schedule is usually Monday, Thursday, Saturday. I could plan for that. I would also use this monthly calendar for any collaborations that I'm doing, if it's like an Erin Condren launch or day designer launch, anything like that, I can put that information down too. And that kind of helps plan my Monday, Thursday, Saturday schedule. So again, placeholders for Warehouse Wednesday. Once she releases that information, then I can add that to the calendar. All right, now let's talk about YouTube schedule. My problem is, is that I, I mean, I guess this is a problem. This is not to sound braggy by any means. Um, and this ebbs and flows. But right now for summer break, I just have a lot of content. Um, I've been filming just about every day and I'm toying around with adding more spots in the month for content just because like I have the numbers of the week here let's say i planned a plan with me for the week of week 23 i don't want to post that like on the week of week 27 because it's old right so i want the content to flow um so what i've been doing is if there is a video that has to go on a specific day due to blog scheduling or if I've agreed with a company that I will post on a certain day and time, that is going on a sticker. For example, this from the Vault Kit 100, there is a blog post going live on Tuesday, so I really need that um, YouTube video to go up on Monday, that way it's ready for Tuesday, right? So I have a few things that cannot be moved this one, week 23, again, it's just because I don't want to post a weekly video weeks after the fact. And then anytime I film a video, I put it on a post-it note and 
if I want to assign it to a day, I stick it down. So I'm doing a deep dive of Perfective Papers W117 insert, and I have it scheduled for Saturday, June 1st. Same here with these other ones. And then these up here, I have filmed and edited, oops, and uploaded, but I haven't assigned them to a day yet. And again, I like to fill my YouTube slots on Monday, Thursday, Saturday. So as I continue to create content, I will add these post-it notes to the top of the page. I'm actually gonna move them to this um, weekly or monthly sidebar. And then once I know where they go, I'm going to move them over to the calendar spot. But I wanted to share with you, that's been working really well because then if it's not set in stone and I wanna swap something out, like let's say I have a week 25 plan with me, um, these slots are already filled. It might make more sense for me to switch these around and so forth. So that's how I'm doing moving content and knowing what's filmed, edited, and uploaded. I'll put those again over here and then fill in with my spots here. I think what I'm going to do is use these labels to go ahead and put placeholders down for those as well. And I'm gonna put mine, since it's for my channel, towards the top, whereas the Planner Kate stuff um, I aligned at the bottom. It just kind of helps visually for me to see a difference there between my YouTube channel and so on. And hopefully I have enough of these because I will need quite a few between putting up videos at least three days a week. And again, once school starts, this might slow down quite a bit. I have been able to put up three videos for a couple of years now, but like consistently. Um, but over the summer, I might actually put more down. And if I don't have enough of these stickers, um, I can always order another add-on sheet. It is a Friday as I'm filming this and she should be releasing, Planner Kate should be releasing a vault kit. So um, I'll wanna place an order today, I am sure. Looks like I'm gonna have enough though. Okay, so I do need to go to Walmart and buy some appropriately sized post-its. I'm about out of these. I don't even know where they came from. And as I film, edit, upload, I'll put those over here to schedule. Once it's set in stone, I will add them to my Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, or Monday, Wednesday, Monday, Thursday, Saturday schedule. And I can continue with the blog fill in with anything else like Warehouse Wednesday sales and um, content as far as like planner launches. I feel like we're kind of slowing down now since academic start planners have started, but then in September, I feel like it's gonna ramp right back up. So um, anyway, I wanted to share this with you. And even if you're not like into content planning, I feel like this is a good way to look at how the Erin Condren kits can fit in just about any planner. This is the Day Designer Daily Flagship, and it looks really nice in my opinion, um, the fit with just a little bit of trimming, which I can handle for sure. Minimal work, right? All right, guys, I hope that was helpful for you to see how the kits work in different planners. And if you are a content creator and you're having trouble with the moving pieces, hopefully that process made sense and maybe could be helpful for you. Thank you guys for joining me today and I'll see you back next time.